many sentimental moments of reunifications of friendships and new friendships. Uh, and here we go with the introduction. Okay, welcome again, fans. We're going to start the warm-ups here and prepare for our bronze medal match here at the Huntsman World Senior Games. These World Senior Games, once again, have hosted 27 sports for athletes over the age of 50. An exciting time for them. The volunteers, staff, everyone involved. This is a 12-day event here in St. George, Utah. The weather's been beautiful, about 85 to 89 degrees, sunny. I myself have participated in the volleyball event as an official. Met my friend here, Rolf, and I'll introduce him, and he's going to Help me with the play-by-play uh, -play and the color commentary. Nice to meet you, Eddie. Nice to see you again. This is my first experience doing this in English, so I hope that we're going to do it very well tonight. During this great matchup between uh, Estonia and Brazil, two of the best performance teams in this tournament, so we hope that we're going we're gonna to have a great match. 
I'm expecting a great match myself. Did you get to officiate either of these teams during the tournament? Uh, uh, pardon me? Did you get to officiate either of these teams during the tournament? Oh, well, I worked one match of the Estonia team, and uh, they played so well against Letonia. So we are talking about two teams with good quality. I know that they're going to make a great performance during this match, that they're going to try to win the, the bronze medal, USA and uh, Russia. They're going to be in the gold medal match. So this is going to be a good one. Brazil is one of the highest uh, that they maintain during the matches. You know, this spirit of victory. You're going to see that during this match. They start to scream. They all the time uh, doing, uh, you know, giving uh, their partners that be in the game. So they don't want to go low anytime. They're just going up all time. And that's the, the quality of this Brazilian team. Now, uh, you can see or you can uh, uh, understand the quality of this uh, Brazilian team. They, they are the world champions in the male tournament. The world championship recently celebrated in Italy. So you can uh, imagine how is the quality of this Brazilian team, no matter that they are competing in, in a competition of master like this one here in San George, Utah. Well, yes, indeed, Ralph. In Brazil, volleyball is the number two sport just behind soccer. Many, many participants. And like you mentioned, they play with a lot of spirit and passion. I've, I've been around them a number of times at the open competitions. And, uh, yeah, they, they really bring a lot of enthusiasm to each match and, and each play. The people have to be watching number eight. That is uh, one of the best players that they have in the roster. We're talking about Luis Fernando Sousa, alias Bonga. Oh, yes. His nickname is Bonga. That's right. You know how, uh, how Pelé uh, had a nickname, but uh, that ended up being his, his uh, real name, right? Just one name, which is popular with the Brazilians. And these people usually have two or three last names. <laughs> but we're trying to make you surely, so it's more it's gonna gonna be more easy for us and for you people that is watching this uh, final, this two uh, last match of this great tournament, the Global Cup in this uh, San George tournament here in Utah. Another player that oh, is gonna be you. one of the best here is uh, yes. the center of this Brazilian team, number two, Marcelo Telles. He's one of the guys that make all the movements in the offensive part of this Brazilian team. So how he play, the other guys are going to play. You, you better watch this guy also, number two, the center of this team. Yeah, I noticed what big hands he has. Better to set the ball with. Yes, indeed. I want to talk a little bit about the Estonian team. Now, I didn't get to see them as an official myself, but I did witness them dominating the U.S. team, which will be in the final a little bit later. The Estonians are tall and very talented. It almost looks like some of them played uh, at the Olympic level in their heyday, in their 20s and early 30s. Yeah, very talented team, played very strong throughout the pool play, and has earned themselves a spot here in the third place match. Some of you may know that volleyball is the number two sport in the world. Behind soccer, volleyball has the most participants. And I know here in America that the people that play are just crazy for the game. I hope there's some of you out there watching and, and listening now, enjoying these warm-ups as the players prepare for the, the matchup between Brazil and Estonia. There's going to be good, two quality, good quality here also as a referee in this match. We're going to have our buddy Raul Ramos. Everybody call him in Puerto Rico, Naguabo. Because he's from, he's from that town in Puerto Rico, Naguabo. is in this part of the island. 
And the other one that is uh, work as R2 is going to be Courtney Gardones. And the line, as Lymans is going to, they're going to uh, work Mike Tolosa and Gary Koffer. And as course scorekeeper, Perry Coblen. So those are our bodies also because we keep, we are being uh, working with them during the tournament. And we know the quality of these guys. That's why they're going to work in this important match for the bronze medal. I agree, Ralph. Some fine officials indeed. I've, I've uh, had the pleasure of working with all of them and definitely uh, of the best quality here at the tournament. Corny's one of our leaders in USA Volleyball, one of the trainers and evaluators, writes articles for us to uh, learn how to apply the rules to the game. I have the, the opportunity to work by, under his supervisor uh, in the AAU tournament in Orlando in last summer, and it was a good experience. He's uh, a great leader, and I know he, that he's going to have uh, very control of this match because it's going to be a tough one because both teams, like we said before, those teams have a good spirit, and they're going to try to win it no matter what. Ah, yes. You're saying they, they may try a little gamesmanship in influencing the officials in their favor. Oh, yeah, they they both bring a, a little um, of that arguing, you might say, once in a while. Let's, let's expect the passion in playing and, and uh, wanting some assistance from the officials as well. I know Raul Ramos uh, from Puerto Rico, he himself brings a lot of passion to the game to make it fun for the participants. He's one of the responsible guys that I'm here on this tournament. And also Sue Mayhot, that is the referee manager, and she's making an excellent job also here with our crew. So uh, we know Raul, and we hope, I know that he's gonna be, a, uh, he's gonna do a, a great performance also as an R1 with these uh, two teams. Both teams are just finished their warm-ups. Less than a couple of minutes to start this match for the bronze medal. Brazil, I saw them playing against Venezuela in a tough match, and they and then they have to come from behind to beat another good team as Canada. So everybody who is playing in this tournament, all of them, I think they have a good quality. If not, they're not going to be here. Ah, uh, yes. The Canadians were the reigning champions. The, the defending champions were the Canadians. They always bring a, a, a big, tough squad and have won the tournament. Two years ago, the last time this tournament was ran for the men, was won by the Canadians. Last year, they had a women's division. And they alternate the Global Cup is within the Huntsman World Senior Games. The Global Cup is, is an international style event for athletes 50 and over. The rest of the volleyball tournament is, is open to over 50, 55, up through 76 years of age. They have divisions. One of the difference of this uh, tournament that uh, the people should know is that if the ball touch the ceiling, 